Hello again, all you fabulous crafty people. It's Mel, and I'm back doing a video response for Marissa at MAM1016, MAM1016, and she's doing her 300 subby giveaway challenge. So congratulations, Marissa. Uh, 300 subbies, that's a great, um, huge milestone. Yay, congratulations. Um, so the rules for her challenge are to do a layout or a card with the focus on um, the journaling part of our process. Uh, so she didn't want any photos of people or pets, but you could do a photo of a place or an object or an item um, and then journal about it. And she wanted you to use old school um, embellishments. So you had to use a brad, eyelet, or and or buttons. Um, and ribbon or twine and a piece of somehow use some chipboard and she also required that you use paint which I thought was going to be really tricky for me um, like I love to paint but I haven't I don't think I've done very much of that on layouts also I haven't done a layout like a 12 by 12 layout for quite a long time and my layouts are pretty old school and not very um, creative but I guess I always go for the linear lines um, and I try to pick papers that have a little more interest um, with some flow in them with some detail um, to sort of offset because I always end up doing these linear lines and that's what happened again this time um, so this is a picture of a waterfall <clears throat> which is um, near in the area where I grew up um, it's not hard to get to. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. There's a viewing area, um, but it's a really special place. And you can see in the photo, this waterfall, <clears throat> if you were to pan over to the left, um, it is a deep gorge. And it's, uh, if you look to the left from this location, uh, as far as the eye can see, you would see just trees um, and the water going through the gorge. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, this and we were married uh, in this place. We were married right um, from this spot where the photo was taken. So we were facing the waterfall. There's a, a sort of a balcony area where you can view the the falls and the escarpment, and um, that's where we had a wedding. It was really really small wedding, so it wasn't very many people taking up space. Um, <clears throat> so I did some journaling about this waterfall and I didn't put all of my journaling into this, um, paragraph, but, um, I did a little bit, I'll read a little bit of it. Um, this is where we were married outside facing this waterfall. We could hardly hear each other's vows because of the roar of the water. The rock cliff is ancient. The water has run here for thousands of years and it will be here for thousands more. This is also a place where we became new, where we became us officially, surrounded by those who love us, all together in one place, the last time we would all be together with such joy in our hearts. Um, we just had a really special day, and it was just really calm and quiet. So um, I haven't really done any layouts of our wedding. It was just in 2010, so of course I haven't gotten to any of that yet. So this will be the first thing that I've started for our wedding album. <clears throat> um, for my chipboard piece, this is a chipboard sticker that's now and forever. And I, that's from my stash, and I've had that. I don't have the outer package. I don't even know um, what that was with or where it's from. Um, for I used brads around the photo, and I tied some... This is some green twine, and it just wrapped it around to frame it. And there's a little bit of the twine here on this piece as well. Um, for my paint, I these polka dots I've painted on with a, a brayer with a pattern on it that I just got recently. Um, it's this. That was on clearance at Michael's. I think they're still on clearance at Michael's if you want to pick one up. It comes in a pack of two. The other one has a floral print on it. Really, really cool thing to have. I don't even have the, 
um, handle for it, but I just dipped it in some paint and then just manually rolled it. So it, it's it's not going to give a very even um, image, but that's that's works for me. So that's uh, this green color is is one of the shades that we used in our wedding, and so I think that worked out. Um, I was thinking for a long time about how to do paint on this, and um, so I'm really happy with the way that worked out. So that's my piece, and I would love to have some feedback from you guys on it, um, because like I say, I haven't done a 12 by 12 for so long, um, and I think it's, I was going to put something tucked in behind the photo and add a little more interest but I just uh, I don't know I thought it was working for me just to keep it clean and simple so I'd love to know what you think I really appreciate your comments whenever you make them and thanks so much for this challenge uh, it was a real challenge for me to um, figure out how to put all those things together and to decide what image I was going to use for to journal on so thanks Marissa for that and congratulations again on your subbies thanks everyone take care